Anyway, Super Retro final about to be on the way next here for round four. The Marshall departing from the grid. It'll be Barry Stewart, Vince Bristow, Ray Morgan on the front row. Alan Tapscott on his own on row number two there as well. Nigel Davy not making the grid, sadly, owing to a crash earlier on today. Green light and go. Barry Scott gets away well, as does Alan Tapscott in the Mark II Ford Escort. Ray Morgan goes side by side with Barry Stewart down to the first corner. Side by side with Tapscott versus Bristow. Contact there for Tapscott into the back of Ray Morgan, into the side of Vince Bristow. And somehow the red escort emerges from that contact in third position as well. So Barry Stewart in the Porsche 911 has now got it all to do. The start is the tricky bit. He gets that car away well. Can he hold on to that race lead or will the 114 of Ray Morgan be able to find his way past? He certainly will on the exit of the corner. Ray Morgan in the Ford Escort is now ahead and into the race lead in the final. Brilliant driving then from Ray Morgan. So is Barry Stewart going to do anything? No, he's not. He's made a mistake into the bottom of the circuit and he's lost the position now to Alan Tapscott there as well. And Vince Bristow's fancying a slice of the action. Bristow round the outside into the left-hander into the first corner we go and from first to last in the space of half a lap there for Barry Stewart well that's how not to do it that's certainly for sure but either way it does now mean that Ray Morgan leads the way behind the wheel of the 114 and he will be thrilled with that last year his best result was second place in round one and round three and he could be set to go one better here today in round four of the Super Retro class if he can hold off the charge of the number 91 of Alan Tapscott who will be thinking all his Christmases have come at once. Here comes Barry Stewart down the inside of uh, Vince Bristow into the left-hander at the bottom of Brooklands. Gets the move done. Up the inside is the 166. I wonder, could we see a spectacular recovery from Barry Stewart before the end of this race? To remind you, only five laps in this one and no jokers for the retro drivers either. But either way, sitting pretty is Ray Morgan behind the wheel of the 114 machine. So let's see whether he is going to be able to hold off the challenge of Alan Tapscott. It'll be newer Mark III Escort from the older Mark II Escort if it stays as it is. And when was the last time we saw that in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship in the Super National class? Barry Stewart being able to gap Vince Bristow ever so slightly. Two different cars than you could ever imagine. Vince Bristow's older E36 BMW compared to the comparatively ancient Porsche 911 that Barry Stewart has been driving, but we love to see these older machines being represented here in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. And for those who have been a fan of Rallycross since the 70s when it began, well, I dare say that this is a very welcome sight for you to see these machines out on track here at Pembrey. Ray Morgan, it is still with the advantage behind the wheel of the 114. Alan Tapscott just closing that gap up. It was 1.7 seconds over the line. It's a lot less than that now. Three out of five laps completed. Two laps remain here for the drive that Ray Morgan is able to get out of that hairpin bend and onto the speedway straight. It's just supreme and it just doesn't allow an opportunity for Tapscott to find his way past. I would arguably say that Tapscott looks the quicker of the two drivers through the technical first section but certainly in the latter half of the lap, that is where Ray Morgan comes on strong and he could be on for a win in the Super Retro final. Meanwhile, Vince Bristow is now all over the back of Barry Stewart, not able to find his way through into the first corner by the looks of things as Stewart covers the inside line. They're very close though indeed, side by side almost to the first corner with Stewart getting the upper hand on this occasion. So third place belongs to the Porsche 911 driver for now, but can Vince Bristow do anything about it and find his way through as once again Tapscott closes up on the penultimate lap in that first sector? He just needs a good run through the second and third sectors, Tapscott. Easy to say, difficult to do. But as such, the gap continues to increase as they come down the back straight. So, Ray Morgan through the left-hander, into the gravel section they go, through the right, then the left, over the timing line to start the final lap of the super retro class here. And it's Ray Morgan with an absolutely supreme performance and well I wouldn't have thought that this would have been the case at the start of this one given the pace that we've seen from the likes of Barry Stewart and the like around him but either way a brilliant performance it has been from the 114 Alan Tapscott though keeping him honest all the way that Mark II Escort working a dream a beautiful car to look at and to hear as well Barry Stewart still coming under pressure for third position 
from Vince Bristow coming through the right and then the left as well, but no opportunity presenting itself for the number 97 as it stands out of the hairpin bend they come down the back straight and just three corners from home separating Ray Morgan from an emphatic first win in the final of 2021. Ray Morgan over the line to win the Super Retro class here for round four of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship in Pembrey ahead of Alan Tapscott. Barry Stewart in the Porsche 911 will come home third by a whisker from Bristow in the number 97 machine. And then comes uh, Nigel Davy, who sadly, of course, as we know, did not make the start of this race, but will still be classified in the overall points standings, I believe. Disappointment there for Nigel Davy, that earlier crash sadly curtailing his race. But Ray Morgan takes the win in the 114.